Okay, folks, this time we are going to look at Eurydicacea shinkoi, the female of the species. So that with comparison with the male, you're going to get a pretty good idea of how to sex a Eurydicus. And as I said before, the Eurydicus are pretty much all quite similar when it comes to the operculum and the uh, genital papillae. Once again, uh, pectines here, pectine on each side, sensory appendages. Here is the operculum. This is the part we really need to look at. So in a male we'd expect to see the operculum split down the middle with uh, genital papillae protruding from underneath. This is an adult female. Let's just zoom in. I'll have to refocus. Bear with me while I refocus the microscope. Alright, now you can see that this situation is quite different. The operculum is actually quite a different shape. It's more horizontally elongated. Uh, it has no split. There's no split in the middle here at all. It's quite uniform. There's no split. Um, and there are no papillae protruding. If we lift it, I don't know if to hold the scorpion down. I'll probably do that. Yeah, you can see that in actual fact there are no papillae under there. Okay, I need to refocus that a little bit higher. I'll focus it a bit higher. Um, just pull the um, operculum back up. No, there's nothing there. See, where my probe is running, there are no papillae. So, you have a, what we call a closed operculum, and the lack of genital papillae. And really, it's quite a different shape in this species. Don't expect that to be the case all the time. But in this species, the uh, operculum is, um, it's, it's more oval shaped. In the male, it's, it's almost more triangular looking. That should give you a pretty good idea.